This painting is called The Vision to Youth Bartholomew and it's by Mikhail Nesterov. It depicts a scene from the life of St. Sergius of Radonesh. When St. Sergius was a young boy, he struggled to learn how to read and write, and so he prayed to God to gain this ability. A short time later, he met a monk, as depicted in the painting, who gave him a small piece of bread, explaining to him that after he ate it, he would gain this ability miraculously. And so it happened, St. Sergius ate the bread, went home and took up the Psalter and found that he could now read the Psalms perfectly. In the Life of St. Sergius of Radonesh by Epiphanius the Wise, it's implied that this monk was in fact an angel. Uh, if you would like to read that, I will uh, put that in the description. It's an incredibly beautiful painting and Mikhail Nesterov himself considered it to be his best work. It's very interesting to me because it, of course Mikhail Nesterov was, was Russian and Orthodox and this is a, an Orthodox saint, Saint Sergius, but the painting itself builds on the tradition that comes from Western Europe, of course. This uh, style, very realistic style, was developed especially during the Renaissance. Obviously this painting in no way resembles stylistically an icon. It's so dissimilar to, to an icon of St. Sergius. It couldn't be used um, inside a church or as an icon. Um, but at the same time, obviously, it is religious art. So the term I have seen for this is non-liturgical religious art. Here is a painting by James Barry that is called The Baptism of the King of Cashel by St. Patrick. As you can tell, it's not actually finished. It's more of a sketch. Unfortunately, James Barry did not do very many religious paintings, but obviously I'm drawing a comparison here between this sketch and the painting that we just saw by Mikhail Nesterov, because the point is, again, non-liturgical religious art depicting scenes from the lives of saints. Uh, this case, obviously, being uh, an Irish saint, so this is something that has not really been covered by more recent artists, but I think is something that uh, there's a lot of potential in this area. In regards to how valuable this style of painting is from the Orthodox perspective, I would hesitate to um, make a precise statement uh, other than simply to say that if paint painting is a part of culture, so if there's going to be a Christian culture, this is the kind of things that artists are going to want to paint and people are going to want to look at. Obviously it's not necessary in the sense that the icons are necessary, um, but at the same time, even if it's not necessary, I don't think it could possibly be fair to say that it's worthless. And we've already seen this. It's not like um, a, a speculation of, a, of an art style that's never been seen before. Actually, uh, Russian Orthodox painters have already produced uh, excellent works of, in this style. So I'm just uh, introducing that idea, um, especially ideally, although I I don't have the painting ability to do it, and I don't know someone with, with this biographical description, but what I would love to see sometime in the future is an Irish Orthodox Christian painting in the style and the same themes as Mikhail Nesterov, but for the Irish saints. Specifically from the life of St. Patrick, I think the confrontation on the Hill of Slain would be an excellent subject matter for a painter because it's a very uh, beautiful scene. And of course also for all of the Western European nations, uh, their saints, this heritage, to produce a 
Western European version of Mikhail Nesterov in style and theme, I think would be a huge uh, cultural achievement.